find many different quotes from many different coaches that relate specifically to coaching today's athlete. One of the quotes was from NFL's Bill Parcells. A lot of kids we get nowadays have grown up macho. Pat Head Summit, who just won another national title, has been quoted as stating, I've realized in the last five years that kids come in here less confident and more fragile. A little bit different spin on it from Louisville's Rick Pitino. Young people today, not only with the referees, but with each other, give me an extended headache. All they do is talk, talk, talk. They don't play anymore. They'd rather talk. In a quote that was taken from an ESPN magazine article, did these revolutionary times suggest anarchy in the gym, or did they simply herald a mighty big generation gap? And that's where the rest of this presentation is going to go, is to really look at this generation gap. Who are these millennials? I'd like to spend a little bit of time going through that. These are those who were born between 1980 and 2002, 76 million strong, three times the size of our previous generation, called the Gen Xers. Uh, this is going to be the first 100 million person generation, the most studied generation in history. Some main generational researchers, Howard Strauss has been quoted as stating, the millennials are the babies on board of the early Reagan years. We have you hugged your child today. The sixth graders of the Clinton years, the teens of Columbine, and the high schoolers of 9-11. Experts and researchers have really looked at these generational differences and how they apply in the workplace. What I'm trying to do is to look more into the athlete setting and the sports setting and try and reveal more about the preferences, the motives, and how best to motivate these millennials. Looking at the historical influences of the past several generations, we know that the, the boomers born 1945 through 65, Truman Kennedy were the presidents, some other societal issues, Korea and Cuba, TV, mainframes, 8 millimeter film, the Gen Xers, 65 to 85, LBJ and Carter, the Vietnam and Iran conflicts, cable TV and VCRs and cassettes and CDs were considered upward technology. The millennials, Reagan, GW years, Iraq, Kosovo, 9-11, MP3s, DVDs, personal computers, and streaming. So history definitely has a way of, of molding its current generations based upon society's influences. Some additional influences that impact the millennial generation. Everyone's busy. Kids are busy. Parents are busy. Parents love to get their kids participate in as many different events as possible. So time management and multitasking becomes a very important skill for these millennials. There's such a huge emphasis on convenience and technology, some of which we've previously mentioned. How diverse society is. Trends in education, situational ethics. And obviously, violence close to home has a great impact on these millennials. Based upon society's influences, some of the major characteristics that the researchers have found that tend to characterize millennials, they are protected, they're confident, multitaskers. They do love working in teams and team groups, which is a good thing for coaches. They're always connected, whether they're on their cell phones, PDAs, Instant messaging, they can always be reached. They do identify with their parents' values, much more so than the Gen Xers did. They're fascinated by new technology, and they also expect those who teach and coach them to also be quite in tune with today's technology. They do seek leadership. They want people who are going to help them achieve and help them help attain their goals. They do favor feedback. They want to offer as much feedback as possible and get it in return. And they do appreciate diversity, much more so than any other generation previous. According to my research and those from Howard Strauss and additional generational experts, they've kind of come up with ten core traits of today's player. They are special. Parents today, they love their kids uh, more so than any previous generation. And because of which, they tend to, to hover, which is why the term helicopter parents have been uh, coined. They are very sheltered and protected. They do partake in many different activities that are all player driven. They're also the latchkey kids. They are a very confident bunch. Unfortunately, it's kind of a false confidence because they're hovering. Helicopter parents tend to 
pump them up a little bit too much so when they are actually out in the real world trying to solve their own issues, sometimes they don't really have that skill set. But they, outwardly, they are a very confident bunch. They do want to achieve an awful lot. And because of that, they are motivated. They are quite motivated to achieve all the heights possible, and their parents help them with that in terms of just pushing them beyond belief at times. And you coaches know exactly what I'm talking about. They are pressured in terms of their time, their schedule, and because of their motive to achieve, they do put an awful lot of pressure on themselves in order to get the best grades, in order to apply to the best schools. They are a competitive bunch due to the early exposure to competitive sport and how parents and society really stresses you have to be on top of your game, you have to be competitive, it's a tough dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. They are a team-oriented bunch, as I mentioned earlier, which coaches can definitely utilize to their advantage. Coaches just need to give them access in terms of making decisions and having them be part of the process. They are conventional in terms of them appreciating family more. They do like to spend some time outdoors, spend time with friends, catching up with friends. Obviously, they're technologically advanced, but they are a needy bunch. Again, these 10 core traits probably aren't anything new. You coaches out there, I'm sure you have seen these traits happen. And the next slide is going to kind of go into a little bit greater detail on how best can we utilize these characteristics and maximize them to their best ability as well as to our betterment as a coach.